right. So now I'm going to trade out the hot water for some cold water. And I'll periodically just <coughs> use it as a coolant. So now, watch your fingers, you don't like go straight through. I do miss my <laughs> my air. Off. So there's my pilot hole. Wow, so tiny. So then I'll I'll go ahead and do all of them. I'm just gonna show you real quick so that you don't have to like stand there and wonder. So here's just one. Or are you going to finish that one? I'll finish this one and then... So then... Is that the one that has the shoulder that stops? Yep. So, so I like to just kind of... protect that tie base with my finger. So you come back from the other side with the same bird? A different bird. Oh, it's a different bird. It's a little wider, but the inner diameter is thin down in the first row. All right, and it had that little point on it. So it'll protect you, so it'll bottom out like a shoulder. Okay, on top of the tie base. All right, so now that's all I had to do. Yeah. Now you come in with, with this guy. You just want to make sure that the white part's all gone. The white? Oh, the, the top the, part of the, the screw. Part, yeah. You'll get your bridge screw won't see. Yes. Yeah. See? So it was a two part screw. That's the magic. Yeah. That's what you you took out the metal part from the, from yeah, the, from the mouth. That stays behind because it's yeah. engaged in threads. But this part was just holding on to a smooth portion of that threaded post mm -hmm. so it could slip right off. Mm -hmm. So. See how small the hole is. So look yeah, at. That's amazing. That's, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. All right, so now I'll go ahead and just do the rest of, and do it in. Even to seal the screw access holes, it doesn't come off the, the material. Exactly. So when you see him in three months, like at his three, six, nine month recalls, you go in with a hand piece and go through this. No, you put, you put PBS on top of it. Or firm it. It's not an explorer. So you don't have to uh, drill. Because you're screwdriver. basically still under construction, right? Okay, that's what you showed a picture of that. You can use, uh, I've used GC soft reline material and uh, PBS. Regisol is kind of. It'll break. It's too rigid. Yeah. So the hard. light body is nice enough that you just grab it. Doctor, if you use from it, it, there's a soft is, is and a hard well. from it for a soft one. The size of the soft one, you can no. like around and if and and if you the tooth? get a spoon excavator in there. Gray. Gray, gray. So yeah, I mean, it's if perfect. I'm done, my final process gray, gray, has gray. permit in there. Because if they ever need it removed, anyway, it's quicker for me to remove that. Some things will be really picky. That was a good idea. That's where I'll put composite. Oh, because I don't want like yeah, yellow. Yeah, for everyone or else, whatever is easier for me to take out. So ferments a little, it'll last a little longer. But it's still easy for me to take out. So. All right, so there are my pilot holes. Then I gotta drill. Yeah. So. But the good up. part, if you plan it right, then then it's it's an easy Quite. access for me. So. And that's the advantage of using the multi-unit is that your angle you is easier to get to. Yeah. You need water? Yeah. So you try you try to design everything for retrievability and also maintenance and stuff. Mm -hmm. So if you're doing maintenance on something that you plan ahead of time, it's easier than if you if someone someone's process is coming in the door, you have to look for the screws. So there's that one. Okay. 
so I can't overstate the advantage to doing it this way is the quality of the provisional that you're able to produce. Yeah, it's good for the patient at the time of surgery, but more importantly, it's going to facilitate everything downstream. Mm -hmm. So if you provide them with a really, really nice provisional, it's just easier for them to design something that meets your and your patient's expectations. Have your provisionals ever broken? Oh, sure, sure. Yeah. Like with the ones that had like the bigger holes. It's uh, it's always been related it's always been related to restorative space. The bigger holes. This one this one's not breaking. Yeah. I might have a tooth pop out because I use denture teeth, but the base is what? Uh like sometimes I'll have them mill out an arch. Yeah. You can just mill it all, all, mill it all in acrylic and stuck. Uh, and we didn't extend the flanges too far. You can, just like how you trim it. Because then you have the puck size yeah. and the mill out how the bird can get to it. You'll get behind it. It'll go uh, yes. 30 millimeter puck. Yeah. The only problem is the white side. Yeah, so that's why I like processing the pink flange. Yeah, try it. Is so that, as you'll see as we grind this down, we won't have to do too much doctoring up. So they are more likely to break if your restorative space is very small. Minimal. So that's really related to reduction of the risk of surgery. So but you don't want to say that. <laughs> well, no. I mean, he can. He'll do whatever I tell him to do. Yeah. Right. Need it, it'll take more than one. So you have to know what your your definitive material is to plan your process. So if it's like metal acrylic with a titanium bar, you need more. denture teeth, and then pink acrylic, you need the melt. So just so zirconia is a little less. So that's sometimes it's just not enough restorative. What's that? Okay. That's how different always come out. Yeah, it always comes out, right? Yeah. So. Got it. I see. I so, yeah, you really need to know what you want to end yeah, up Yeah, so when you were looking at it on the computer... That one feels like it already one came one. out. Yeah, you, you can't guess. We don't want to guess. Yeah. Mm. Like you're stuck with yeah. Yep. So then, then that allows you to give the patient, like, you know, the package price, too. Yeah. Because if their package price is for metal, probably they don't you go to zirconia. Do you have it. people that stay in the provisional for a long time? So this is going to take a while because this d burr is dull. Yeah. I have more birds, sir. You do? Yeah. Can you grab me a a, sh a better one? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. No. So that's exactly. No. 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 We the whole front. we pay we have them pay up front. For the whole thing. The one we got here. I knew. Look at this. Oh, including the final. Yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're good. Oh, you. Appointment, but thank you so much. Sure, yeah. Really? So at this point, at this point, all you're gonna miss out on. So that's all done. Yeah. So all you're gonna miss out on is me shaping this and okay. then going to the mouth. The intaglial surface? Yeah, just the tissue surface okay. there. Okay. That's all you're missing. That's just guesswork. I mean, how do no. you know where to no, so where I, to how to shape it? Oh you mean just getting rid of the excess, the yeah. excess acrylic. Yeah, yeah creating a Okay. Creating a hygienic surface here. So the osteoplasty is pretty much straight across, right? Yeah. So then if you look at where his tie bases are, the inside of this is kind of pretty much straight across, but rounded on the sides. Okay. And there's so much tissue there, it'll push it down a bit. Yeah. So. And you're just rounding it, because you don't want food that so, And that's what, for there. this process, is, that's what you want, so not punch it. Got this it. is just flat and yeah. easy to clean. And for your final? Same. Mm -hmm. You yeah. have to get broken material right there. So, essentially just doing it like that, right? Yeah. 
Then it has been it. Are you about like a hand yeah. polishing thing? Like roll yeah. Yeah. What do you polish mm -hmm. with? Hand polish. Okay, like with the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Why do you ask me the... The black? Yeah. yeah. Not initially. No, no. So I have like the disc. <laughs> yeah, I remember yeah, the black. Boss, you have to but we never use it. And, uh, and, uh, yeah, so I thought like that the, the multi-unit abutment had a sharp ledge. But that's only for the this narrow platform. Yeah. And we were using regular platform. You uh, were? Yeah. So I, so I forgot about that. Depends. Okay, so but anyway, you were before. You know that. You're trying to keep that wear. You're supposed to that. That's not some other issue. Right. All of them can loosen over time. So you want to keep the door. So, if the patient, some people have been able to keep the door. He says something was loose and it's 50. All the screws are loose. Okay, these are retrievable, and we took them out, so we tighten them back up. You guys, is Zirconia on the top of this? Yeah. So Zirconia teeth for him, he's a brusher. So teeth were more thicker than a coat teeth. So you did metal strips that would wear down that thicker. And that's also why it's so, the process is so beefy too. If you replace screws and stuff later, is that separate thing or is that included at the front? No, that's separate. That's like, they become a normal ma maintenance type patient, right? They're, they, but they know of these things before you yeah. commit them to it. Yeah. So there's no cantilever there, which if you did, you cut that off at the time of loading. Yeah. It's fairly robust, but still so. Thanks again, guys. Yeah. You bet. Yeah.